Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I wanted to do... Basically, it'll be kind of something that I'll probably post to YouTube later. and um, But I wanted to just do a very brief thank you to everybody. I'm a little lost for words, but... <laughs> Kind of. I've been a little bit emotional lately. I don't know why, but um, thank you all. A little bit of background for me, particularly, because some of you pro have only known me for a little while. Um, I was on YouTube for the better part of five years. <laughs> thank you, Kaiba. Thank you. But uh, yeah, you know what? I may ignore chat for a little bit, guys, while I say this, but um, let me explain. So for about... Five years I was on YouTube. I spent a good amount of time doing a variety of different types of content over there. I started off as a Let's Play channel for a very long time. That's where I met my good friend Rabbit, who you guys should be somewhat acquainted with because I mention him constantly. My buddy Rabbit Tensei, who I've been friends with for over six years. That's about half a decade worth of friendship, I might add. And I, I care about him deeply, so... If, if and when he sees this, hi. But um, for a very long time, I was on there, and I eventually shifted over to um, commentary for a while. I talked about a variety of topics, topics of which I do not care to elaborate on, really, because I'm not too proud of some of that content. I won't elaborate too much on it. It was a, a kind of a bad time, I wouldn't say it was a bad time. At first it was good because I was a part of a community that I thought like, oh, they get me. They understand me. And in some cases, that's still kind of true. Some of the friends I made there, I still talk to. But for a long time, that I made that content. And I uh, eventually, I got very disheartened to the point where it's like I didn't really want to make content anymore. I didn't want to stream. I didn't want to do anything. For a very, very long time. I was off and on, well, partially due to work and then partially for just a variety of other per reasons. I won't elaborate on too much, but let's just say I was in a pretty rough place creatively. I'd kind of given up putting any effort in. And then eventually what happened is this year, or basically kind of... Pre, a little bit like in November to, um, I would say, uh, how would I say this? Like from November to February, I had, well, even before then, but of course, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all jumbled up. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm getting my timelines all mixed up. You see, look at, look what happens when I, I'm not, I don't have anything planned. Um, First, I should say that I got into a dark place, I got really depressed, and eventually I sought help, which has helped me out tremendously, and I feel a lot better emotionally and stable than I have for a very long time, which is a big deal to me. It's also what helped me to kind of push into VTubing as it, as it is, because um, my mom got injured. And for those of you guys who don't know, she is elderly. She's in her 70s, so she's very old. And she was injured. Oh, boy. Um, and then she was uh, hospitalized for about a week. And I was in a pretty... I was pretty emotional at the time. And then I kind of was, like, playing around with VTubing a bit. I... Messed around in Vroid while she was in the hospital just to take my mind off things. Eventually, she came home and slowly but surely everything kind of went back to normal for a bit. I was talking to Rabbit for a time. Or I was just kind of just kind of dipping my toes into the VTuber scene, I guess you could say. And um, what happened was, eventually, I got COVID, like mid-February. I got sick, and I had a lot of time on my hands, <laughs> um, and I was alone in my room a lot, so I had a lot of time to sit down and watch things, so I watched a lot of VTubers, mostly Niji Sanji members, and um, I'm like, 
since Rabbit was the one who introduced me to the VTubing thing in general, I was like, I am now down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and ever since then, I was like, okay, that's something I want to do. That's something that I think, I, not only do I think I can do it, but I want to do it. And he encouraged me to move back, move to Twitch. And so I did. Or, well, this was more recent, over the last couple months. But, slowly but surely, I started working on things to start moving into VTubing. And ever since then, I've been getting a lot of love and support from all you guys. And I really do appreciate that. So... I'm I'm being I'm being all mushy and I'm sorry but it does mean a lot because for a long time or well actually no because the VTubing thing that really spurred me I guess into action was Niji Sanji re was running auditions a few months ago before March because I think it was by the end of March you had to submit and I wanted to do something that I'd never done before and that was to put myself out creatively and try to do something that I'd never do, which is put myself out there in that capacity. And um, I did. I did it. Um, I didn't get in, obviously. Which is obvious, because you see me, I'm here now. <laughs> but, um, and I wouldn't change that for the world, actually. I actually prefer... Um, the independent VTuber scene way more than the more corporatized groups and whatnot. They're fine, but I, I actually like hanging out in people's communities and people knowing who I am and saying hi. Yeah, putting myself out there like that motivated me along with uh, meeting uh, Rabbit's good friend Neg. Also helped motivate me to get back into art and actually push forward on my own. So thank you guys so much for the support. It really does mean a lot. I owe you guys a lot. So, I'm going to keep on doing my best to make content for you guys. For as long as I possibly can. Even if it is just a normal PNG. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and get the mushy stuff out. The mushy stuff is gone. We're done now. People can talk if they wish. I am done. I have spilled my guts out enough, I think. I might still get emotional, but I'm going to try my best to hold it in as best I can. Thank you guys for listening to me cry. <laughs> if you didn't know, I actually am a fairly emotional person, so I can get mushy at times. So, thank you for humoring my emotional side a bit. So, thank you. I hope I didn't bore everybody, because now no one's talking, and now I'm... I'm self-conscious that I have bored everyone to death. <laughs> Thank you, Cosmo. All the hearts are appreciated. Anywho's, we're here to have fun. So thank you for humoring me for just a brief minute. That will probably be edited and put up on the YouTube channel at some point. Uh, never boring? I was just listening intently. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I was going to make personal thank yous to some people. Not just the people here in chat, but thank but thank you guys as well. But I already mentioned Rabbit, but thank you to Rabbit. Thank you to Neg. Thank you to Little Red Foxy. Uh, Callie. Uh, Welsey. Aster. Or Doncho. Um, I don't know if I can think of anybody else. Particularly at this time. But just thank you to everybody in general for the support.